You may have seen illegal graffiti on walls around downtown, but now artists can become respected muralists at an event called Wide Open Walls, giving them a legal place to express themselves. We talked to one of the artists, Anthony Padilla, about what it's like to be a part of the Wide Open Walls movement and when he started it all with graffiti in Sacramento. Um, well, I've been painting in Sacramento and I started doing graffiti in 1993. So I was painting murals way before Wide Open Walls started or was even thought of. But now, since graffiti turned into street art and Wide Open Walls is a thing, with our forces combined, we could take over the world. Then we talked to the director and creator of Wide Open Walls about the history of the event and what it takes to run it. I came up with the idea of uh, doing Wide Open Walls from just literally walking my dog along the streets and in the alleys of Sacramento, just thinking how much nicer it would look if there was a lot more art on the walls. This is the third year of the mural festival in Sacramento. It started off as the Sacramento Mural Festival, a small little event with 11 murals, but it was so popular um, and there was so much interest in the festival, we decided to do it much larger last year. We had over 44 walls and painted over 100,000 square feet with artists all over the world. This year is equally successful. We then asked him where all these aspiring muralists come from and how they make their mark on Sacramento. We put out an open call worldwide and we had over 358 artists apply. Um, a lot of them were local and a lot of them were from a lot of different countries. We have over a dozen artists. We have artists from China, from Spain, from Italy. Um, we have artists from Portugal. We have artists from all over the place. I've got a, a knack and ability to connect artists and, uh, and the community and connect the artists with the actual the buildings and the people and the sponsors that are going to pay for this event. And they basically come to have a really good time and leave a, a very, very beautiful gift when they leave. We're gonna, we don't have any plans to stop. We're going to keep on doing this. This has been Sage Ness and Marissa Adolfson reporting for the Town Morning News.